I am not. Um, video taken by a patron, seen by page six, shows her in a considerably crude, uncountess like move, snarling at the crowd, fuck you. Now, there is there is video. There, there is there is video out there. Um, and she has responded. And in her response today, she has cited. I, I love Luann. She has cited every song that she's basically ever sang. Um, let me just find her response. I freaking love her that she went up to the guy and was like, money can't buy you glass. I Do think, you know and, the song? And, and apparently then there's a rule I love that, her. that when they said, we don't know that she's like dolling. It's like, it's, you know, a top five iTunes you know, um, and she's correct. I mean, it was for like a month. I mean, it, it isn't any longer, but whatever. I mean, I think Dua Lipa has been on the charts, like, you know, for the past. Whatever, but again, this year. is my, this is my girl. I am not criticizing her. I want to find her response I love Luan. where she like, she single-handedly and Luann, by the way, is never going to be get is going to be able to get drunk in public ever again after, you know, she's she's been arrested for drunk and disorderly. I mean, everybody knows and kind of suspects she has a drinking problem. I mean, it's just never she's never going to be able to drink in peace ever again. I mean, obviously, that doesn't sound very peaceful. And she's admitting she was drunk. So I, I would I'm tend just- to believe. I'm really un- under David up, kept belting out jumbled version. She was doing jumbled versions of her songs and the crowd started booing her. Yeah. She said, fuck you to the gays. The tipster tells us that she yelled at, um, and then was thrown out. She has issued a response somewhere where she has basically said that she was drunk, but she was not kicked out of the bar. Okay. I guess that 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 wait, hold on here. Hold on. A probably a probably very hungover Dilliceps explained to page <laughs> six. Okay, so she said this. I was at rehearsals all day, then went to dinner with Broadway producers. We were in a celebratory mood. I got up and sang a few Broadway songs. I realized I was a bit tipsy. We were having fun. Um yeah, I mean, that's what she said says she's not saying that she's so that's it i mean you tell me somewhere she has issued a a, an official response i just don't know where that is but regardless that's what we have um so i don't know it's it's luann is drinking i guess and i'm not criticizing her because i love luann and she doesn't do podcasts and she's done my podcast twice so i will not burn that bridge for all the money in the world I yes. love Luann. I think she is an icon. Um, she is. But there is a response that I read this morning where she said something like, apparently money can't buy you class. And she said, I'm sorry, I was just feeling all Giovanni and I was having a good time. And she's <laughs> like, somebody broke the girl code and reported this. So she literally, in her response that I read, which was either a paid six or Daily Mail, managed to literally include every one of her songs, which is fucking brilliant. And I, she's great. I think it's a great clap back. Good for Luann. But for I'm anyone who doesn't know that, she's apparently on the man, you know, she's 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 on the sauce, which no judgment. I think not drinking has got to be, it's a really hard thing. And it, it's hereditary. And it's like, I mean, I I don't know what I would do if I couldn't enjoy my martinis one to three a night when I chose. <laughs> Not every night. I used to be, I mean, seven nights a week, but now since the pandemic and I work 24 seven, I don't go out every night. It's harder to drink. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. I like it. I like the response. I mean, I have to tell you, I believe all the accounts. I really do. I I don't, you know, all the eyewitnesses, I believe every word, Um, but I also love her comeback and it seems like she's embracing whatever. I mean, you know, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be un Luann like for her, you know, maybe she was escorted out of the bar and she considers that not being kicked out one way or the other girl, you know, you were asked to leave. And by the way, just, you know, cause everyone, the Regency, the Regency. Yes. I go to the Regency all the time. Yes. You can find Harry Dubin there. Most nights when he is in New York, he's been in Palm with that Palm beach with Ramona all winter. But for this gay bar, just for those who don't know, this is the same gay bar, the townhouse 
for those that want to come visit New York, that Sonia Morgan and Josh Flagg, very good friends, go to. So anytime Josh Flagg is in town, when Sonia is in town at the same time, Josh and Sonia go to the townhouse all the time. So just for, I'm just saying for all the talk, the Regency, the Regency, the Regency, eh, I'm kind of over the Regency a little bit and the townhouse, which is actually right near the Regency, hit them both up. You can see maybe now apparently Lewitt and you could definitely see Sonia and Josh Flagg when he's in town. So there you go. Shout out. Um, We have a major divorce, a major (laughs) breakup. (laughs) know all your thoughts you know obviously you're a Vanderpump Rules longtime fan I never ever got into Vanderpump ever I love Lisa Vanderpump um I never got into Jax I never got into Britney I mean I know of them just like I would read the headlines I never I don't know none of them ever did it for me we've talked about uh, Lala's podcast you have great things to say about Lala I'm sure she's amazing I just I don't I don't really care But I'm curious about this divorce because people took it so hard online. And I'm going to be honest, and it's not just Tom. And what's her name? Katie. And then tell me what people were saying online. It's not just Tom and Katie. But again, I am... I am tired of the fucking canned responses. This is amicable. This is amicable. Okay, bullshit. If it was amicable, you'd still be together. You know, somebody's upset. You know, let's be honest. Someone is upset, okay? And I said this to my husband and I put it out there on my Instagram story. My husband and I have been together like nine years, married almost three. I'm like, if we split at 14 mark, 12 minutes, I am going, I'm posting your underwear and, you know, every fucking text message you sent to the other woman. I don't care. I'm going out one life to live, you know, like who are these people? I've read nothing is not, amicable. No, nothing. nothing is amicable. I've read they're still living together. I've read there are no rush to file for divorce. Then why did we put this out? Was this for, was this for podcast downloads? Why are we doing this folks? Are, are people the- okay? Well, first of all, a couple of things, this my cue, my hater, uh, Vanderpump rules. You, you missed, probably several seasons of the best show that's ever existed on Bravo. And as of late, it's not good. Last season was not good. Um, I have a huge person from Vanderpump Rules coming. I have two, I have one huge person coming back because this asshole okay. tells me I'll never get these people back because I said the ratings were horrible. I have someone huge coming back and I have someone who was fired who's coming back, who's coming on out too. I've never had. Ooh. But it was the best show for a, a, gr- a long time. It's not so great anymore. I think they should just call it. I think I don't. I don't know when it's going to come back. I would call it if it were me. I wouldn't bring it back. Um, were people shocked online? Like, what was your temperature? Yes. And then I'll give you my opinion. Shocked, shocked, shocked. I got messages in my DMs on Instagram. You have to talk about this. You know, are you and David going to talk about this? 